Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Gemini Jet's March releases. This is an incredible release set, so um, I'm just going to get right into it, but let me say I'm so excited to get some of these releases arrive, uh, arriving to my house. The first one is like an Amerijet um, cargo Boeing 767. I know I'm not going to need this, but for some of you that have a, a lot of cargo on your airports or, you know, more American based airports like mine, but you know, you need more cargo aircraft, you might go for that. But the next one is insane. This is the Delta CRJ 900 that's been going for thousands on eBay. I'm so like, first of all, the people that bought it for thousands, holy cow, you made a mistake. But also this is an incredible model that I might just get from my airport. Next, we have a Frontier uh, Airbus A321. Um, I've been looking for a Frontier, but all that makes them is Aero Classic, so I'm excited for this one. I might even get it uh, just for my need for Frontier and low-budget airlines. The next one over is a Jet 2 Holidays um, Boeing 757. I already have one Jet 2 Holidays, and like once you get more than one budget airline, it starts to get a little uh, crowded on the airport. So um, I might just stick with my one Jet 2, but uh, if you guys don't have a Jet 2 or a budget airline yet, that might be a perfect choice for you. Kalita Charters, I don't have a lot to say about. Um, it's an older airline, or you know, older, like, style, air, like, uh, not airline, but it's a charter company, so I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, I'm more a passenger plane and not a private airport, so I'm definitely not going to be needing this model. This is a uh, SAS... Airbus A320. I know for some of you American collectors, you're not going to need this because obviously an A320 can't go flying overseas like that. So um, I know that I'm not going to need this, but for those of you that are like European collectors, this might be a perfect model for you. This I'm so excited to get. This is the Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the retro livery, which is the mustard livery. I'm so excited about this one. I might get it, and the reason I'm excited about it, but not excited, is because I want to get like the planes like that you'll see in the future and the Delta plane and the Frontier. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough room for a retro Southwest. This is a uh, United uh, Express CRJ-200. I'm so excited about this one, too. Uh, personally... I like models like this because I just don't have a lot of regional jets, and I know that some of you guys probably can relate to that. You need more regional jets, so something like the United um, CRJ200 is perfect, perfect, perfect for my airport. So uh, that might be something you might be seeing coming later on in a unboxing video. This is an uh, A330 MRTT um, for NATO. I'm not going to need this or an MRTT because I already have enough military, and by to say enough, I mean I have Air Force One, so. I'm obviously, I'm not like as into military as uh, a lot of you guys are, so I definitely don't need this. But then again, uh, if you guys remember my last like releases video, I was saying that Gemini Max did not have a lot of releases like they usually do. And it's the same with this one, only one release. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this kind of helped you decide what planes you're going to get um, from this releases. I certainly have a couple, the Frontier, the Delta, and the United. I would definitely um, go for. So um, then again, uh, I need to kind of budget which one I'm going to get because I, I know I can only really get one, but you know, we'll see what happens in the future. So I really hope this helped you out. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.